Right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect Roseanne to get a nomination this year. I don't think anybody did. Same with Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent. Just given the backlash that both those people had received, it wasn't too surprising to not see them get nominated. Right. That seems that seems very appropriate. Yeah, Laurie Metcalf is just an incredibly talented actress. is just a very frequent name to pop up at award shows like this. So um, hopefully, you know, she gets uh, some Emmy love come come the night of the award show. But uh, you know, you never know. It's a very it's a very uh, competitive race. Yeah, not too much. I should have said Tokyo. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, uh, that had be upside down. Yeah. That's a good question. I mean, it's unfortunate when that happens for everybody, you know, because people have to pay consequences for somebody else's behavior. Um, but, um, but I'm not sure you'd have to ask Hema. I won't pick a favorite child. I will say, as you said, the quality of the program is staggering how much it increases. I, mean, I never. You know, the, the show, the studio, they submit it in all the normal categories, and you're so excited to see that Lori is one of our nominees this season. Lori Metcalf, which is fantastic, back again. I, you know, again, I think that that's, again, a testament to quality work is going to be recognized. Um, sure, you know, the, the voters may have been somewhat uh, aware of the other issues that were going on. I can't say whether that did or did not affect anything else, but I do think that that did not penalize, you know, performances that really deserve to be recognized, Lori Metcalf being one of those, and I think that's great.